Hey guys, Mackenzie here. Welcome to LaFontaine Classic Cars. We're checking out a 65 Resto Mod Fastback today. This is a GT350 clone. It's got trick brakes, suspension, wait till you see under the hood. We're gonna be driving this thing, checking out all the nitty gritty. Come on as we take a closer look. You can't have a red Fastback without some beautiful white racing stripes. This is a fiberglass hood with the GT350 style scoop. This thing is gorgeous. We got the GT350 grill with the lower valence. This is a sharp, sharp car. Um, our lights, our lenses, our badging, everything's over the top. Let me show you rather than tell you. All right. Voila. Gorgeous engine compartment. Everything is dressed up to the nines under here. Um, this is a 302 under the hood, punched out just a hair. So it's a 306 cubic inch now. They are painted black to blend in, but we've got a set of uh, aluminum Edelbrock heads. We've got some ceramic coated headers. We have a Shelby aluminum intake manifold. You see, we've got the correct stickers all over the place. You notice our vintage air AC compressor clean looking water pump, nice correct hoses, proper clamps, and we even got the auto light battery topper there. And some more glam I wanna show you. If you peek back down here, you see our Willwood brake booster with an adjustable prop valve. And this is the top of our, uh, our shock here. This has got coilovers in the front. Very nice, very nice. Closes up good. You throw your hood pins back in when you want to roll. And this car has a lot, a lot of good looking angles. We've got some American racing torque thrusts. These are uh, an 18 inch wheel wrapped in Michelin. I believe these are Pilot 4S's. It's a badass tire. It's a 225-40 R18 in the front with Willwood six piston brakes. Love the looks of their calipers. So we've got our GT350 stripe down the side. Dashing little sport mirrors. Nice trim, tinted glass. And out back, we've got that matching Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. Nice good lines. Quarters look great. The back end of this thing, I love, I love these tail panels. Dig the headlights. I like that exhaust, dual exhaust coming through the lower valence. Nice, good sized tips with the rolled edge on them. Got our gas fill cap right in the middle. Our GT350 badging. All nice hardware, nice seals around, and we'll pop this open, see what we got. Voila, voila. Couple fun little stickers out back here. Shelby America, Automobile Club. Kind of fun goes with the theme. Um, factory mat down in here. This is a fold down seat car. Inside of the quarters, the wheel tubs, everything looks good. And there's our tank with some sound deadening on top of it. I'll show you guys this ceiling up here. Speaking of seal, looks like a brand new one up under here. Cool. Sits flush, nice gaps. This is a nice car. Bang it around this side. We see all the same beautiful stuff. Door gaps are very nice. The glass is in good shape. The chrome looks very dashing on this car too. Man. The wheel tire combo with those brakes behind there is working on this thing. Doors open up very smoothly. We got good looking door cars on both sides. Manual windows. Got a Shelby wood rimmed wheel here, which is sweet. Um, nice set of gauges. Love the Shelby stack up up top. Uh, we'll cover some more of this once we hit the road. This does have some nice lap belts here. And as you peek in the rear, I'm gonna show you the seat going up. Oh, no. 
Simple as that, and you can now fit four people in the back of your 65 Mustang. Pretty sweet. Good acceleration out of the 306. Gearbox feels great too. Got these Michelin Sport tires picking up all the rocks today. I'm noticing too a, a little screeching coming out. Um, I think I think the steering column needs a little bit of greasing right here at the wheel. Clutch feels great. thing sounds awesome. I love these Shelby gauges. You notice they are working. Speedo is working. Coolant gauge looks like uh, our fluids are warming up. Gas gauge over here. Everything checking out good. We got a, uh, a modern style radio in here. Sounds good, this is AM, FM with the aux. Got our blower motor here. Sweet. This is a very snappy it's a 302 punched out a little bit to get it up to 306. That's a quick car. Um, that was shifting at 5,000 RPMs. This thing's got a lot more left in it. Turns well. These coilovers are riding on up front feel phenomenal. We'll roll into third gear here. Uh, very impressive power band in here. This thing accelerates very nicely. Uh, it feels like it's right on the cusp of 400 horsepower um, from the butt dyno. Thank you guys for tuning in with us. Uh, once more, my name is Mackenzie. This ride is for sale, and I got a few more details to share for you. One, if you want to know anything more about this particular car, you can call us at 248-714-2110, um, or you can hit us at our email. It's inquiry at lafontaineclassiccars.com. I'm going to put both of those down in the description of this video here. Um, while you're down there clicking, check out the link I'm going to leave you. That'll take you to our listing right on our website where we'll have 100 plus pictures, show you the underside, and a breakdown of all the beautiful parts on this bad boy. Thank you guys. Like, subscribe, let us know uh, what you want to see in the comments. What do you think we should have in stock right now? What's your favorite thing about the GT350? See you guys.